Hey guys, what's up? I am coming back with another installment of my Bloggers Corner series. I'm not really still sure if that's what I'm going to call it, but that's what's been working for now, so we're going to go with it. Um, if you're new to my channel, hey, I'm Jessie. I blog over at thecoffeemom.net, and I am here to talk to you all about the ins and outs of the business of blogging. If you are familiar with my channel and you've been here before, hey, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. So today we're going to talk more about blogging, obviously. We are going to get into the specific of do I need a niche? All right, so today I am trying to film without my glasses on, if you can tell, no glasses, can't really see that well, but I noticed in my past videos, and it's really bothered me, I don't know if it bothers anybody else, there is a glare on my glasses. So I can't really, it distracts me, so I'm sure it distracts the other people that are watching my videos. And I can see good enough without them, like not good enough to drive or anything along those lines. But I can see good enough to talk to y'all. So with that being said, I let's jump into it and talk about if you really need a niche for your blog. All right, so. This is a question that I get a lot. Do I need a niche? Well, it's not as easy as yes or no. It's not, you know, a black or white answer. Um, you know, if you want the short, yes. Yes, you need a niche. You need some sort of targeted audience, which is what a niche is. A niche is, if you don't know, which I think you probably do, you're smart people. A niche is basically just where you fall. Um, what are you? Who are you targeting? You know, are you going to fall in the, are you gonna be a mom blogger? Like mine started out as target moms. My niche is mom blogger. <laughs> you know, are you a game blogger? Are you, you know, a f daily vlogger? Are you, you know, fashion? Are you beauty? Those are all the niches and there's a ton of them. And so yeah, there's a ton of niches there's, you know, a ton of people out there in the world. Something is going to appeal to everybody. But the question is, what appeals to you? What audience do you want to appeal to? And that is where you're going to find your niche. Now, a lot of people I have heard have said to be super specific. That you want a super, super, super targeted audience. For example, I'm a mom blogger. I'm a pretty broad mom blogger so I don't fall to the super specific niche but from what I've heard a lot of other people saying is that you want that super super specific niche where so you wouldn't just be a mom blogger you would be a boy mom blogger you would you know tailor it to only boy moms and then you would tailor it down more to only boys born in you know this age range or only toddler boys only preteen boys and just keep getting smaller and smaller and to me while yes that does target a super super specific audience that will be very interested in your content and will continue to come back it also to me, it excludes a large amount of people that could also be benefiting from your voice, from what you have to say. So, like my example, mom blogger. I like a big old niche. I talk about motherhood and myself and my kids. And obviously, I talk about working from home and blogging. So that's pretty broad. I mean, there's some out there that are just work from home bloggers. There are some that are just mom bloggers just blogging bloggers or gaming bloggers or whatever kind of blog you want to run you can do it <laughs> don't let anybody tell you that you have to su be super specific super narrow because that might not work for you it didn't work for me being super narrow didn't work for me <laughs> i mean i have had more luck with a broader audience than i think i would have with a more narrow targeted audience and yes you want to target specific people I don't target you know dads maybe a little but like that's not my target I don't target teenage boys <laughs> I don't know maybe I do but like I don't target you know I don't have 
teenagers. I have, I don't have kids watching my videos. I don't have very many men watching my videos. I can go into my analytics and see my demographic is typically, um, what is it? I think it's like women from 24 to 35 is my main demographic. Most of them having children. So, you know, most of them are moms and those are the people that I am reaching. Now somebody that does like gaming videos that has that niche, they're going to be reaching a whole different demographic. They are not going to care about getting moms on their channels. So you got to go with what you're good at. What you're good at. Let's repeat it. Go with what you're good at. Go with what you know. Because me personally, talking about in my experience, my niche, like I said, is mom blogging, but it's also, I, I'm targeting myself, if that makes any sense. I am targeting moms like me. Because I knew in my head that's who I wanted to target. I wanted to target moms like me. Moms who are, you know, we're not super, super mom. We're not, you know, Pinterest mom. We're not, you know, cooking five course meals every dinner and eating all organic and vegan and th that's not me. But it's also the moms that want to spend more time with their kids and want to simplify their lives. And maybe moms that either stay at home and want to start making an income or moms that want to be able to leave their full-time jobs and stay at home but still have you know that source of income those are the people that i want to reach so when you are creating your blog your vlog your instagram your just your facebook whatever form of social media and influencing that you want to be into whatever realm that you're in you want to think about who your audience is. So in that aspect, yes, you need a niche. You need a, an audience. Who do you want to talk to? Who are you talking to? Are you talking to yourself? Because that's what worked for me. I talked to women like me, moms like me, who know kind of sort of what's going on in motherhood, but we're winging it. We're going with it, we're winging it, those are the moms I want to reach. Moms who are winging it and moms who want to work from home. Which usually are the same types of moms, so it works for me. Um, but yeah, you need to find your audience and in order to do that, you have to find your voice. Now, that's not as easy as it sounds. Because in order to find your voice, you just have to start writing. You, start it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Your blog doesn't have to be perfect. Your videos don't have to have perfect lighting. You know, they can have messy editing and imperfect lighting, you know, and, and you know, messy photos on your Instagram. Just start it. Because that way, you'll start finding your voice. Your audience will start to find you. And then, you'll continue to improve. Because I see so many people on a daily basis that tell me, I'm kinda ready to start a blog, but I don't have enough content to put out. Or, I wanna start doing videos, but I don't have a nice enough camera yet. Or, I don't have lighting yet. Or, you know, I wanna do Instagram influencer, but, you know, my photos aren't that good. So, I have to wait until I have the money to buy a nice camera or I have to wait until I have the money to buy a nice theme for my website and no, okay? No, you don't. You need to start it. No matter what's your budget, no matter what you wanna do, start it. Because it doesn't have to be perfect at first. Mine was not. No. My first attempt at blogging was terrible. But you know what, I learned from it and I grew and that's how I found my audience and found my voice and found my niche and found what I wanted to write about and who I wanted to target. That being said, another thing that you can do that will really genuinely help you is join Facebook groups. Now, yes, I have a Facebook group for bloggers. It's amazing you should join it. I'll link it down below, but I don't just mean that. I mean, okay, 
say you're a mom blogger like me. We're using this as an example because I'm a mom blogger, that's what I know. So say you're a mom blogger. You wanna join not mom blogger, but mom Facebook groups, okay? Now a lot of times they don't want you to self promote and that is perfectly fine, but you are getting to see the questions from real moms on that feed and you can think, oh, okay, so these feed, this is a common question that's asked within this Facebook group. Let me research this topic or, oh, I know about this topic. Let me write my post based on that and then I can come back and see if I can share what I have found with these women. And that's something that's worked for me. That's something that, you know, I've had a couple other influencers tell me about that works for them as well is join groups based on your niche. So you're going to find a lot of your audience in there. For example, if you want to do YouTube Dollar Tree hauls, which I don't do them, but I absolutely adore watching Dollar Tree hauls. Like I'm obsessed. I go to the Dollar Tree way more than I should. And maybe I'll start doing Dollar Tree hauls because I'm kind of low key obsessed and I watch so many amazing YouTubers that do Dollar Tree hauls and they inspire me to spend all my money. The Dollar Tree, if that's really possible. But it, say you want to be a Dollar Tree hauler. They have Dollar Tree Facebook groups. If you're a gamer, they have specific Facebook groups for gamers or for you know whichever specific game you want to do. Because you know, gaming is huge on like YouTube right now, and I know Twitch. My husband watches all that stuff. Like games done quick which I think, I don't know if they're still doing it right now, but he was like obsessed and just watching games done quick for like an entire like couple days. Just, I'm like, bye, who's my husband? Watch Twitch all night. <laughs> but yeah, so just join a Facebook group to help you find your audience and that will help you really affirm what you want to write about and who you're trying to reach because those are the people you're trying to reach. Like for me, I'm reaching moms. And let me tell you, the moms and some of the groups that I'm in all the time ask about how can I work from home, breastfeeding tips, my kid is not disciplined easy, like that's the kind of stuff that moms are asking. So that's the kind of stuff that I'm going to incorporate into my blog and then you know I'll come back at a later date and if there's no self promotion ask an admin if you can be like hey I wrote this, I heard somebody questioning it or I've seen a lot of questions about it, can I post this on the wall? Um, or if they do allow, you know, link dropping and some self promotion, then you can, but I would just recommend like if somebody asks a question, answer that question and then leave your link in the comments, if that makes sense. Like this person, person A up here asking, hey, do you have any breastfeeding advice, first time mom? So I'll go and respond to them with an actual answer, not just, hey, check out my post, but an actual answer with a lot of words and good, helpful things. And then I'll leave a link, well, hey, if you want to check out more, I wrote a post about it. Here it is if you want to check it out. If not, that's okay. And most of the time, most of the groups I'm in do allow that. So that's just something you have to look for. But yeah, that's a great way to find your audience. And I mean, yes. It's gonna be hard at first, <laughs> but you just gotta go for it. You gotta do it. And yes, you need a niche, but it doesn't have to be as specific as a lot of people say it has to be. As I've said before, I have a very broad blog and it works for me. It might not work for you. You have to find what works for you. Do you want something super specific? Do you want to blog only to teen boy moms? Or do you want to reach a broader audience? That's completely up to you because both of them are fine. You know, but don't let somebody tell you that you're doing it wrong because you're either too specific or not specific enough. Because I don't like being told that I'm wrong in an industry where it's constantly changing, things are constantly flowing, changing in a new direction, there's constantly new people coming in and out. And yeah, no, I'm not doing it wrong, I'm doing it my way. And that's what you need to think as well. So I really hoped you enjoyed this and I hope it was kind of helpful when it comes to trying to find a niche, trying to find your target audience. Um, like I said, I write for me. So if that works for you, write for you. Or 
Think about whoever it is you want to write for in your head. Find that person and just write. Just start writing. Start recording videos. Start taking pictures. Just do it because I know that you can do it and you can be great. All right, guys. So that's all I have for today. I would love for you to join me in my Facebook group for bloggers. If you want, I will leave it down below. We do a Facebook live training every single Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. This week, I am talking all about sponsorships and sponsored posts, so it's going to be really fun and exciting, and I hope to catch y'all there. Until next time, I am Jessie, and it's been great. Bye!